Hello and welcome to Year 3's Meet and Greet. I'm Miss Burgess and I am Robin's class teacher. And I'm Miss Judas and I teach Sparrow class. So the key adults in Year 3 are Miss Haria and Miss Priscilla who are who are our TAs. We also have Miss Kamali who will be joining us throughout the year who is a trainee teacher and she will be based in Robin class. On Tuesdays we will have um, a PPA cover and for Robin class that will be Mrs Bowers and for Sparrow class that will be Mr Harren Ambopoulos. So um, obviously they've come to Key Stage 2 now, so there are a few changes this year. Their playtime will be at 10.05 a.m. They'll have lunch from 12 till 1, an afternoon break at 2.15, and then ending the day at 3.25 p.m. And we do encourage them to wash their hands throughout the day, especially before eating, um, but of course this is not compulsory. Um, PE kit, we expect them to bring it in on a Thursday and that might change throughout the term, but we'll let you know in advance if they do need to bring it in on a different day. Um, different from last year because usually they change their reading books on a Monday and a Thursday, but this year they will be allowed to change them every um, day if they need to. And of course, because they've changed key stages, we encourage them to be more independent this year. So um, taking responsibility for bringing their reading record in and completing their homework as well. Um, and obviously getting them back into routine too because they've had summer holidays. So getting them to bed on time at the same time each night and handing in their homework each week too. So following on from that, um, the homework will be continue to be on uh, Google Classroom. However, if the children do not have access to a computer, then we will make sure that we provide them with a paper copy also. The homework will be given out on a Friday and our expectation is that it is given back on the Wednesday. Um, this also gives you an opportunity, if the children aren't too sure, then they have a few days for them to ask their class teacher um, if they're not entirely sure as well. So we have a grammar focus, which will be linked to the writing of that week. And we have a maths focus, which will be linked to the maths of the week. And um, this will also be a multiplication fact, as well as um, occasionally on mathletics, which the children have logins for. So this year, we're lucky enough to be able to go swimming again. So um, it is a government requirement that by the end of year six, children can swim um, 25 metres. To support them in becoming confident and able swimmers, we will be having weekly swimming lessons at Seven Islands up until the end of the year. So um, that's about a 10 minute walk away from the school. So it will be half an hour each week on a Wednesday morning. Um, for their required kit, we did send out a letter with examples and pictures on there. And let us know if you do need another copy of that. But for the girls, it will be a one piece swimsuit. For the boys, swimming trunks. Um, and for both boys and girls, a swimming hat, a towel and goggles. Um, it's really important that they label their things as well, just because there's so many children in year three, so that um, make sure they're not mixing their things up with others and you're not constantly buying new um, kits. And in terms of teachers, there are professional swimming teachers from the centre, um, but we will always have adult supervision from Southwark Park there too, um, to make sure that all the kids are safe and in terms of changing, they'll always be supervised as well by our own staff and we will um, do our best, obviously. We'll make sure that they will be out of the public eye when they're changing as well. Um, obviously for the, sorry, because they've not been swimming in a, while, uh, in a long time. So I know that some of the kids were quite nervous about going swimming again, but just reassuring them that they will be kept safe and that, um, a lot of the kids um, have no experience with swimming, so they're all just learning and they will be well looked after. So with reading, as I'm sure um, you've heard probably from previous years, but we encourage children to read around 20 minutes a day. Um, so in Key Stage 1, the children were focusing on books and they were determining which book would be suitable for, uh, for them through a colour. Um, now we're moving on to Accelerated Reader. So instead of looking for a colour, they will look for a number. Um, and there will be accelerate, uh, accelerated reader um, tests that the children can do so that they can see if they're ready to move up to the next level. Um, reading records must uh, come in daily. So although they don't have to change their book daily, it is encouraged that they bring in their reading records so that we can see what they're reading and we're understanding how much is being read either at home or if they're enjoying books and so on. Um, 
Also, um, like we've mentioned previously, there is an opportunity for them now to change their reading books daily. When it comes uh, to the reading record, it doesn't have to be uh, the parent or carer that signs it. It can also be the children as well. And that's once again, pushing that independence for them. Um, just a small comment is more than enough. So for English, our writing um, this term is based on the topic of fables and tricksters. Every week, we're lucky enough to have Louise, our drama teacher, take us. And um, we use drama to help engage them in their writing. So over this topic as well, they will be covering a range of genres such as diary entries, um, non-chronological reports, and narratives and story writing too. Um, for maths, this term we are focusing on place value, uh, addition and subtraction, and multiplication and division. There will also be opportunities for assessments so that we can identify any gaps or any growing gaps from COVID as well. Um, our topics for the wider curriculum this year, so it's around our world, um, these are our major topics, sorry, the Stone Age, the Romans, volcanoes and earthquakes as well. And then with science, they will be classifying, observing, carrying out a survey and um, conducting fair tests. And they'll be able to engage with a range of experiments as well. Um, with computing, they'll be learning about Microsoft Word and some keyboard skills, coding with Scratch e-safety especially now that a lot of their learning is done online too so just going back over the e-safety at school and at home as well and um, touching on some computer programming too there will be opportunities for local trips this year but in terms of trips that require public transport we will just wait to um, listen to what the government is saying and the guidelines at the time if you have any questions about the information that you've heard today, please feel free to um, put a message into your child's reading record and we will do our best to answer it as quickly and efficiently as possible. Thank you for coming and supporting your child.